Hello everyone, RedSap here. Welcome back to another Ground Branch video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install different mods for Ground Branch 1033 version before the update comes out. But before we go into the video, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Alright, the first step that we need to do is simple, just open up your Google or any type of Google. Uh, and then we're going to search for Nexus mods, which I already have here. We're going to go to Nexus mods and find the GB, uh, the Ground Branch uh, mod section, which is going to lead us right here in this page. After coming here, uh, just try to find whatever type of mod that you want to install into your game. Uh, either if it's a cosmetic mod like chest rigs, the gun, visuals, or uh, gloves, whatever, cosmetics, and then some uh, fancy stuff, for example, uh, Pit Viper. Pit Viper basically needs a BP editing tool by Modern Lancer, so we have to also install that one so you could learn how to install these type of mods for example fancy risers you can see uh, we have different types of fancy risers uh, for ground branch if you wanted to install this one in order to install this one perfectly you're gonna need a requirement which is called ground branch bp editing tool which is which is i already said so you're gonna also need this one in order for this or any other mod that needs this one work so we're gonna have to install those ones uh, and install two simple cosmetics mods so you could see how to install them so for example this one uh, it's a pistol mod 2011 and this one a jacket which you can install for your uh, game so we're gonna install these simple mods and also install the fancy risers and the GB blueprint editing tool for you guys to know how to install these ones. So after you guys downloaded those ones, if not just download any other mod, after downloading those ones, we're gonna close this, the first step is done, we're gonna go back, go to our download section, which can already see we have our downloads here ready to go already. Uh, and very quick note, before installing any mods, make sure to make a full copy backup of your game directory folder. Uh, I'm going to show you right now. So for example, for me, it's going to be in F, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and Ground Branch. So basically, copy the Ground Branch and then paste it somewhere safe to uh, be ready to go if something goes wrong with your mods because otherwise if you're installing manually a uh, manually uh, like me if something goes wrong then you obviously have to uh, uninstall your game or verify your files which basically removes all your mods at once so if you don't want that to happen you can also go to nexus mods and install the vortex uh, software and that that should make your life easier to mod the game but if not if you're modding manually just follow my instructions so first step what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave the mods here we're gonna open the second window we're gonna find our game directory uh, whatever you installed your ground match folder basically which is here for me and we're gonna leave it there after that we're gonna go to our mods, which is the uh, 2011 pistol black version, which already we already downloaded for this video. We're gonna go to this one. And another quick important note: if you're installing mods manually, always remember to check with your game's directory folder names. If it's not the same then you obviously have to keep digging inside your game directory to find that specific folder of the mod and then place them into your game. But if it's the same, which means the pathway for now, it's correct. So if we see ground branch and a ground branch here, it's correct. Uh, you can already copy this 
and paste it into your game and it should ask you to replace your files in the game and uh, the textures and stuff but just some cases in any cases uh, we're just gonna keep digging inside the game folder to see if it's actually the same or not. So, ground branch, ground branch. Okay, now we see content and content here, which is correct. So we're gonna keep digging, content, content, ground branch, ground branch, inventory, which is here. We already have it, inventory, inventory. And now we have two different folders from each other. It's not gonna be the same anymore. I mean, it is the same, but there are now two different folders. They're not in one folder. If it were in one folder, we could have just uh, select one of the folders here and then paste it into the game, and it should have been correct. But since there are two different folders, we're gonna simply have to manually select those ones uh, one by one and install them. So we're gonna go to magazine. We have magazine here, magazine here, pistol, pistol and we have two files uh, needing to be replaced in your game so we're gonna drag and drop it to the empty space of your game directory and it should ask you to replace those uh, files so we're gonna go back one more one more until we come back to this again so it, we have a different folder sidearm we're gonna find sidearm go to sidearm mark 25 25 and then now here we have a, another folder inside the folder so we're gonna need to drag these files normal files not the folder itself the files in your game directory replace those two first and then uh, you can already see I have this custom 2011 but for you it's not gonna be there so you're gonna go here just check okay there's files in it so we're gonna go back, copy this specific folder inside here and paste it. Uh, for me, it's gonna say replacing 33 files because I already have this, but for you, it's probably not gonna say it. So we're gonna place them here and it should be placed right here. So our first mod is already done. We're gonna go all the way back to the first step of uh, game dark G, and then we're gonna go back to our second mod, which is the jacket. We're gonna go to jacket. Again, if it's the same, it, the pathway should be correct, but just in some cases, we're gonna keep digging until we find if, if it's the correct one or not. Ground branch, ground branch, content, content, ground branch, ground branch, inventory, again, inventory, then we have one folder still which is correct you can all the copy and paste but just some, in some cases we can keep digging sure okay so it's the correct one so no need to copy all those files just for this one so we're gonna select shirt copy select the empty space and paste it over here and it's gonna ask to replace 21 uh, files so we're gonna play, uh, replace them, and it should be okay now. It should be done already. So that's our second mod uh, already installed and ready to go. So those two were the simple mod. Now we're gonna go to the hardest ones. So we're gonna minimize this. We don't need one for now. We're gonna go to debug release, which is the uh, GB BP edit tool. Uh, we're gonna select this one and it should open up this um, small window here for us so after having that you can see that it says your pathway game see the original one but if it's not your pathway game just select game folder this PC find wherever you install your game for me it's gonna be F Steam common and then ground match. We're gonna select the first ground match, not the second one. We're gonna first uh, select the first one, hit OK, and we can see uh, it changed my pathway of the game. Each time you close uh, uh, the ground branch blueprint editing tool, each time you open it, you have to select the game folder of your game because each time you open it and close it and open it, 
uh, it's gonna go back to default which is the C but yeah make sure to do that if not it might be a cure game basically all right after selecting your game uh, directory pathway the next thing that you're gonna need to do is to go to the mods area again I'm gonna go to our fancy riser that uh, we downloaded from before and we can see that we have to replace some files into our game directory again so we're gonna go to ground branch find our game directory again which is here and we already see the same names so we're gonna keep digging just in case content content ground branch ground branch inventory and uh, inventory so from here we see that we have again two different folders so we did the right thing to keep digging in so after finding this we have to go to rail attachment rail attachment riser riser and you can see we have two different folders and different files since you don't have this probably uh, it's not going to ask you to replace but we're just going to keep uh, doing it uh, drag and drop to the empty space for me it's going to say replace since I already have this but not for you after replacing it just again in some cases we're going to go to fast fast we see different files we're going to replace these ones also to make sure that we're replacing them perfectly we're not missing anything we're going to go to hide your low and also copy and paste these ones here and that should be it after uh, replacing the all fancy risers inside your game directory that should be it for that one so we're gonna close this one though we're gonna go back to ground branch blueprint editing tool from here things are gonna be a bit confusing so from here you're gonna go back to nexus mods and find the uh, fancy risers uh, mod section which we downloaded already find that one go to it and from here you're gonna go down in the description section uh, and we should find something like this that it says instructions for BP editing tool which we uh, are trying to install after finding this this is gonna be where you have different types of code systems for the type of mod that you're trying to install for example we are trying to install all in one uh, but if you're installing hydra eotech or unity micro or anything like that then you have to use their own specific coding system and if in any some cases you're having issues like it says here uh, you can also try these different codes for it if it's not working so for us we're gonna see if it's working actually so we're gonna find the one that we installed which is all in one we're gonna copy all of this coding system copy and then we're gonna go back find our gbbp editing tool we're gonna go here select the one on the top and paste it in this section after pasting it here then we can now modify our blueprint we're gonna hit modify if you've done it correctly it's gonna say success editing vector value so we're gonna keep hitting okay if you didn't uh, if it doesn't say that then you probably didn't uh, do it correctly after doing that then it's basically done now we can close everything and go into the game and test if our mods are working or not let's see we have we installed the mark 25 2011 as you can see it's already working so that's the uh, first month uh, first mod done correctly and uh, what else we also installed the jacket I'm not sure which jacket it should have replaced so we're gonna test it now uh, no not that not that what type of jacket I think it was this one yeah as you can see it's already working very cool I love this I'm gonna keep this one uh, so yeah 
basically as you can see the two first simple mods which we installed are now perfectly fine and working correctly and we're gonna take the riser 100 on 15 we can see now that we have the unity riser here which is already working and going uh, a pack 15 in front of it so here basically if you didn't have that riser below it this one on the top like exactly on the riser it wouldn't work so you have to always remember if you want to specifically use this one uh, no sorry uh, it, yeah basically if you want to use this specifically riser you have to put this one right below it so it could work uh, so yeah that's it the fancy risers are working the uh, jacket is also working which is really cool and uh, the yeah the the gun mod which is a cosmetic mod is also working perfectly fine so yeah we're gonna end the video here thanks for watching i hope this video helped you guys a lot i will see you guys in the next video